I am a legacy girl. A legacy girl. I leave a mark everywhere I go. Cannot move further. For class of 2021. And this goes to AC Otua Langdon. We shall invite the graduates and the members of the convocation into the hall. Thank you so much. Please.
came to our next guest, founding company, star, alumni, and most especially our grandparents, family, and friends. We are here today to participate in the praise and wonder of the achievements of our class of 2021. This is a moment our dear Bible to reflect on how you spent your time here as the world has changed around you. A moment to celebrate your engagement with facts, opinions, and interpretations. A moment of creative inspiration. This day is about you and what you have achieved through hard work and determination. Some of you have braved illness and other personal challenges and losses. But all in all, you made it to this. This is the time to imagine your future and the world to come. When you think of the road ahead, you may gain perspective by looking back to where you've been. It is therefore my hope that when you look back on your time at Vegas and your college, you will do so with confidence, and that when you look ahead, you will see LGC as part of your future. Welcome everyone to this presentation. Congratulations, class of 2021. My very best wishes for you all. Thank you. There is a right time for everything, and everything on earth will happen at the right time. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. The founders, board of directors, heads of school, teaching and non-teaching staff, distinguished guests, our dear parents, legacy old girls, fellow legacy girls. The time has finally come for the WASI class of 2021 to move on to the next stage of their lives. Time, they say, seems to fly when you are having fun. But for our year group, time seemed to fly with both the good and bad memories. The class of 2021 has indeed experienced and shared in the rich culture, growth, and legacy of this esteemed institution. Our year group has seen many significant developments such as the completion of AC Anosaki House and the construction of a new school block, multi purpose hall, and the Millicent Clark House. It would only be fair to say that we have been privileged to see this school continue to grow and develop. Our first year seemed eventful, but little did we know that life had more surprises for us. Unexpectedly, our second year was packed with a heavy dose of these surprises. From the outbreak of flu on campus, which resulted in a two-week break, to the emergence of COVID, these occurrences would invariably mold us and direct the course of our school year. The coronavirus pandemic led to the return of all first and second year students to their homes. And suddenly, we found ourselves seated behind our computers and laptops participating in online school. We would always remember our reluctance to turn on our cameras and the dread that filled us every time the president was about to address the nation. Surprisingly, we would always be eager to listen to his address on our return to campus after spending nearly seven months at home. Sleep was our slogan as we burnt the midnight candle in preparation for our first mock. In Legacy Girls College, the attitude of gratitude is taught with passion which ends in action, hence the school community project. Our desire to give back to the community, which has been our home for more than three years, led us to refurbish the library 
of the Nachiku District Assembly Roman Catholic School. The support and guidance we received from our school authorities and parents, with God being in total control, resulted in the project coming to a successful end. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my peers for actively participating in a chance to bless the lives of the peoples of Natriku District Assembly Roman Catholic School. In preparation for our WASI, the school took us through a series of seminars which adequately equipped us to be the first batch to write in the school after our school was made a center. Today, we are here, surrounded by the people we admire and love as we graduate, marking the end of our high school education. We look back and cherish every memory. The meals, Saturday morning inspections by our house mistresses, hymn practice, our head of school constantly admonishing us to be present for morning assembly, the persistence of our school nurses to ensure that we took our daily dose of vitamin C and our medications, and the days we overslept after prepping way past our bedtime, only to wake up at the sound of your house mistress's voice, leave the house for prep. We look back with gratitude towards our founders, the heads of school, house mistresses, teachers, and non-teaching staff, who made legacy a home away from home. We are proud to be part of the freshest batch of legacy old girls. Loga 2021. We are confident that we are ready for the next stage, not because we know it all, but because we are ready to learn, to listen, to be a better version of ourselves and be a difference wherever we go. Thank you for the opp opportunity you gave us to be part of this family. Long live legacy. Thank you. Now it's important for us to acknowledge our distinguished guests here. So please get when I mention your name, please give us a wave. I'll start with the founders, Dr. Mrs. Ellen Hagen. I must also acknowledge um, our Legacy Old Girls Association, Dota and our distinguished guest of honor, who will be addressing us later, Professor Mrs. Essie Ewa. We shall have a short um, address from for the school by the time. But you collaborated with us and ensured that there was continuity in the teaching and learning for our girls, which created some normalcy in the midst of all the chaos that was going on in Ghana and around the world. Thank you for your support and contributions in various ways to boost the health immunity of our girls when schools reopened in person and public threatened many schools around the country. If I start mentioning names, I may leave some out or forget some and I'll be in trouble. But a lot of you came together to make sure that our girls stay healthy. As you mentioned, taking the daily vitamin C. That was a big thing we did to ensure that our girls don't fall ill and we continue strong. So I'll just mention a couple of things, not everything, because I know you came in groups to Mr. Paul and friends and team for organizing, to Mr. Michael Odoko as well, through the exam time and helping to support the girls stay healthy. To all our parents, I say, God bless you beyond your imagination. 
You entrusted your, you entrusted your daughters into our care. And I can proudly say that they have been educated, nurtured, and trained. And now they are ladies ready to take on the next milestone in life. They have become our daughters too. Forever. As you can see in some of our old girls here returning to come and celebrate the class of 2021 because they are now our daughters as well. So as they pass out, we now can trust them into your care to continue with the education, the nurturing, and the training we have given them so that they don't go back. Thank you for your support. To my legacy team, teaching and not teaching, Thank you for standing firm through the challenging times to see these beautiful ladies go through the times to graduate today. Now to our graduates. As I look through pictures of when you came to year one and pictures of more recent events, I threatened to post some and some of you were pleading. I would have posted some of the year one pictures on screen now. When I look at these pictures, I see the change. The change from basic school graduates to high school graduates. A change from girls to ladies. And not just any changes, but all positive changes. Transform, transforming young ladies, transforming you into young ladies with integrity. I said to you when you first came in that at the end of your stay at Legacy, you should not exit our gates the same person as you came in. And so I pray and I know that the change I see in these pictures represents the better you as you exit our gates. Confident, competent, caring ladies and ready to take on the next milestone. I know it hasn't been easy. I wasn't always admonishing this. A few weeks after taking over the leadership of the student body as prefect in March 2020, before you could even settle in and call yourself perfect and discharge your mandate effectively, a pandemic hit. Nonetheless, you held on to your leadership online, offline, in person, whichever platform you were on, and carried on your work so you handed over the mantle. For this, you should be proud of yourselves for standing the test of times and successfully handing over the baton to the next generation of legacy leaders. I am proud of you for being resilient through the processes of imbibing, the nurturing, the training we gave you. As you go out into the world, remember the charge from our school view that all your works must glorify God. Be a blessing by engaging all your skills and talents to serve the present age. Exhibit integrity as you always have to be accountable and rely on God. My blessings upon you as you exit is one of courage. Per Joshua chapter 9, verse, chapter 1, verse 9. Be courageous. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Congratulations, class of 2021.
difficult to lose. The freedom you, you are yearning for comes with a huge responsibility and great accountability. Do you see? Think again. From here, as I know most of you will be entering tertiary institutions, you will bear the sole responsibility of deciding when to wake up from bed to leave. There will be no salary to help you do that. You will have to decide whether to take a bath or not. You have to decide whether to tidy and clean your room or not. What dress to wear? There will be no uniform business out there anymore. Yes, freedom. So freedom to decide what to wear and how to wear it. Whether to eat and where to find what to eat. I'm talking about the responsibility that you have to wear alone as you walk out into freedom. The choices you make will be determined by the values you uphold. For, for example, the value of discipline that most of you resist when you are in school that to do the right thing at the right time, at the right place, with the right people, and with the right motive. You will need it to make the right choices. This will help you to make the right choices and take the right decisions every time you have you are confronted with options. This is the thing which is the inner drive that we have we hope that we have. And trying to do the need for will keep pull up. You strain yourself from doing what is unproductive and even harmful. The core value of integrity, which makes you do the right thing when no one is watching you, will be your best companion on the road to successful and successful future. Integrity which will not come from the truth or bend it when under pressure. I believe that you understand what I'm saying. Integrity is one of the problems. You won't bend the rules even under pressure, even under the pressure of the examination. Integrity will not let you shift the post for selfish gain. Integrity will make you speak the truth and stand for the truth if it, if it will cost you. Standing for the truth means you will not cheat. Mark my word. Emphasis. You will not cheat in your examination or steal from one another as students or lie about who you are and what you can do. It is my prayer that no girl from Legacy Girls College will go and add to the corruption crisis that this country is confronted with by going to the next level to cheat in your examinations. I don't think people have realized this, that this campaign is not going to go away because if what we saw on the social media of late is true, then I think we educate the young, the youth, must take it up seriously from them before they get up there and mess us up with corruption. corruption. Cheating and examination speaks a lot about integrity, claiming ability that is not yours. How on earth can you go and make a mark? with something that you don't have. Because you cheated your way throughout. I take this so seriously 
and he'll give the whole day's lecture on it. When we start to let them understand, to speak the truth about who you are and what you can do, that is the beginning of truthfulness and integrity. And I know God will bless such an attitude. Thank you. And use 
whatever you have been given to grow into the uniqueness that God made you to be. Imitation will be a limitation to your potential. Do not turn help away because of your feeling unworthy. Put pride away and accept all help for development and improvement that God sends your way from you. God has finished the yet. There is more to you. This was just a faith. Very soon, if you listen to what they tell you today, you will see your aspirations and dreams unfolding before your very eyes. The end of high school is not the end of your life. It's a means to an end, to higher causes and achievements. Your life and legacy here, if your life and legacy here has been nothing to write home about, please, please know that there is ahead of you more opportunities to make amends and to prove yourself. Always remember that you cannot dream or cruise your way into a successful and bright future. The road to success, as they say, is not straight. It has many curves, loops, checkpoints, descents and ascents, bumps and rounds, potholes, red lights. All these will come your way. But if you have your values of responsibility, excellence, ambition and determination as your agent on that road, and your insurance as your faith in God, and with the Almighty God in the driving seat of your life being called, that I can assure you, without doubt that you will make it and you will make it big. You will make it big for all to know that you, you have been well to say you have been. Success that will count here is what we are talking about. Success that will count here on earth and in eternity. Go out there and continue to make you mind. God bless you. God bless you. We are privileged today to be given a message for the celebration by a woman who has achieved a lot. A professor of environmental health and sanitation at the Department of Civil Engineering here at UST in Kumasi previously. Holds PhD in water treatment, wastewater treatment, and has been teaching in the department for over 30 years. She moved on to become the um, founding vice chancellor of the University of Energy and Natural Resources in Suyani. Major accomplishments of our guest speaker include the development of the environmental sanitation and engineering programs with over 100 publications. She has won several awards, including Officer of the Order of Volta of Education, Ghana Brass Woman of Excellence, Best National Researcher Silver Award in Environment and Water Sanitation, Best Research for Innovation in Engineering, that's by UNESCO. She's an honorary fellow of the Ghana Institute of Engineers. Currently, she holds the position of executive board member of the Organization of Women in Science for the Developing World, chairperson of the Ghana Graduate Students Research Trust Fund, Board of Trustees. 
She is a composer and has written music and lyrics for the University of Energy and Natural Resources University and University of Health and Allied Sciences. She is married with two children. Founders, directors, parents, ladies and gentlemen, help me to welcome our guest speaker for today, Professor Mrs. Esi Ewa. Computer. Otherwise, you 
the end for everything that we say. And you cannot ask the minister so. I just want to advise the young girls. You know, as I was coming, I was composing a song. I've been composing a song. I'm a composer. I also play the organ.
what you are also thinking. So it does not mean that what you are a liar. The God doesn't like you. Do your work well in excellence and quick integrity. May God bless us all, bless our nation, and I pray that your spiritual climate will be synchronized and syncopated to give you a better future. And may you never be my or skip my time. And the favor of God go with you wherever you go, and may you need to glorify His name.
in the land of the living. Our children came here on their own two feet. And they are living here on their feet. They are not being carried away in a box. They are alive and we are grateful. We are grateful for your keeping, your care, opening doors for us in times that it was difficult. And Father, you have done this way. Father, we thank you for the exams they have written. And Father, none of them was lost. None of them was sick. They have been able to complete it. And for this, we are grateful. Father, we are praying. First of all, for the exams they are written. We come back every paper in the blood of Jesus. There will be no errors concerning their papers. We will not request for remarking. And they will get good success in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for them. Concerning their lives. Father, prosper them in integrity and good health. They will make a mark wherever they go. Father, they will be better than the parents who brought them. And Father, they will be a blessing for this school and this nation and every family. In the name of Jesus. Father, we continue to pray for each and every one of them. The sisters and friends they have made. Father, surround them with good counsel. They will not have a hit of your counsel. In the name of Jesus. And Father, your word says that if we go to a place and if we are received, when we are living, we should pronounce your blessing on the place. Father, I am pronouncing your blessing on this school. Nobody will come to this school and live here the same. Father, make excellent women out of the people who come here. In the name of Jesus. I pray for all the girls here. I pray that you will be with them. Father, you will open doors for them. In the name of Jesus. At this time, we are praying for God for progress. Many of us have issues with our jobs. Father, we are praying that resource us to resource our children. In the name of Jesus. And even as we are all to live here, many people are coming here from school into places. Father, we are praying for those who will travel by road, those who will go by air. And Father, at the end of the day, we know that when the results come, we shall come here for speech and Christ giving day. And we will be grateful to give you thanks. We thank you and bless you for what you have done. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much, Justice Sassari Moche, for our we have some special awards which we would like to present. And for the first presentation, I finally call on Mr. Gilbert Hagen to do the presentation for us. Mr. Gilbert Hagen. This is a special award from the Legacy Girls College Multimedia Team. There is a citation that goes with that. Since year one, you volunteer to be part of the multimedia team, helping to set up for all school events. You are hardworking, creative, always on time, and ready to learn new things. Your contribution to the success of the various events organized in the school cannot be overemphasized. Last night she was here at one year. For your dedication and commitment to the team, we would like to celebrate you and show our heartfelt appreciation. Milk, bread, and water.
were now move on to the best student in each program. So we we'll have the best student in arts. And for that, I'll kindly ask Mrs. Betty Jokoto to present the award for the best student in arts.
of how we ought to live, not as ordinary girls, but as legacy ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the graduating class, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to our heads of school for their guidance. We are most grateful to our lovely house mistresses for being mothers and providing a home away from home. To all the non-teaching staff, thank you for the work you do to make the environment conducive. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to show my gratitude to our committed teachers for preparing us adequately for our final exams and for playing a vital role in molding us to be pioneers of change. Fellow graduates, graduation often marks the end of one chapter of life, but also marks the beginning of another. As we walk out the gates of legacy, I entreat us to celebrate what we've accomplished with sweat and tears. Remember our core values and anticipate newness and greatness. Thank you, Legacy, and congratulations, Class of 2021. Congratulations and thank you, Esina. We will now move on and call our founders, Dr. Mrs. Ellen Hagan and Mrs. Ceci Amosaki, for the founder's speech and awards. Thank you. Let's give them a round of applause. things, 
and make them seem okay. Maintain your integrity and be determined, exemplary women. Your ability to shine and soar is in your hand. My father of blessed men, look, you know, I'm reading this from me. Is his father of blessed memory used to tell me, aim for the sun and you'll not miss the moon? It is also a time of considered world freedom. Mrs. Jokoto spoke extensively about freedom. You will have a lot of freedom and choice. Be wise in the use of your time and the choices you make. All choices have consequences. And remember, once a choice is made, the consequence is out of your hands. Choose to be happy. Use every experience as a learning opportunity to be better as a person. The world, as you find, will keep changing and it will be more competitive than ever. We have taught you that excellence does not come on a silver platter and you will have to pay the price of being extra from ordinary, as Ellen's father says. Thankfully, you have all things. Now, Rabbans, I want you to take a moment and look at your friends. Take a moment and look at your friends. These will be the future cabinet ministers. President of Ghana, pilots, doctors, IT specialists, entrepreneurs, heads of schools, and many more in the years to come. So maintain the friendships you have made here and support each other through the various phases of your life. Trust us, it will be worth it. We hope you will recall with great fondness your time and legacy. We encourage you to join the recently launched Legacy Old Girls Association and choose to be active in it. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to use this opportunity to give us two awards. The first is based on our aim to develop leaders in our school. To this end, we have carefully selected a recipient of the Founders Prize for Leadership. And this goes to AC Otua. Local diet. With parents explaining away with the now common 
praise. Oh, what is going to make her? She can understand, but she cannot speak. We give out the glory of the Racing Arthur Award for Proficiency in Ghanaian Language to Ama Sakura.
Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It gives me an immense pleasure to deliver the vote of thanks for the graduation of the WASI class of 2021. Let me first of all start by giving glory to the Almighty God. Baba, three years would not have been possible without you. Therefore, Nanyumo, Bahe Oshida. First and foremost, I would like to thank our special guest of honor, Professor Mrs. A.C. Ogwa, who despite her busy schedule, found time to grace our graduation. I also would like to express my profound thanks to our founders, board of directors, heads of school, for their unstinted efforts through our stay in legacy. My heartfelt thanks to our teachers, past mistresses, for their valuable contribution, guidance, and encouragement through our journey in school. I owe a special gratitude to the kitchen staff, security, cleaners, technicians, and the entire non-teaching staff of LGC, who have worked hard to ensure that our stay in school was comfortable, safe, and memorable. I'd like to thank all the parents and distinguished invitees, both online and in person, for accepting our invitation. I thank the members of the media for inviting interest in covering the event and all good hearts who worked and are working behind the scene. Lastly, I would like to thank my wonderful colleagues of the WASI class of 2021 for everything, your cooperation especially in making this function a resounding success. I would like to leave you all with this quote by Ori Hatch. Graduation is not the end, it's the beginning. Once again, I thank you all for your attention. God bless you all. Let's take a close in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for a moment like this. We appreciate you for the gift of life. We appreciate you for giving us sustenance to the end of this program. We thank you for the lives of our dear fathers and their family. We thank you for management. We thank you for the lives of the students. We know that the next time we hear from them, it shall be glory from glory unto glory into glory. We thank you for the lives of our parents here. May we gather once again and appreciate you. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen.